It's not just restaurants bracing for the possibility of closing again. Some of San Diego's cultural attractions are preparing for what could be a short lived reopening. We want to make sure people come back to the park. It is the cultural heart of San Diego. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens joining us live at Balboa Park. And Jared, after reopening the park's museums, it could all be forced to close as early as Monday. Yes, yeah, so they're going to take advantage of this weekend. Well, they have it. Look, the door to the Fleet Science Center says we are excited to safely welcome you back. This opens tomorrow and another half a dozen museums will do the same between Friday and Saturday. You can see here on the ground they've already got their social distancing line markers set up. They want to do this safely and they want to stay open. That's why they're hoping that we can get the coronavirus under control. Here's the list of the museums that are opening up this weekend. And you can see on Friday we will get the Science Center as well as the NAT, the Veterans Museum and the International Gift Shop. On Saturday, the History Center, the Model Railroad Museum and the Museum of Photographic Arts will join them. And the Air and Space Museum, the Automotive Museum and the Japanese Friendship Garden are already open. So that's more than half of the museums here in Balboa Park, but they all may have to close again on Monday if San Diego winds up on that watch list for coronavirus cases. The parks director told 10 News if that happens, the museums here, which rely on admissions for their survival, will have to get creative when it comes to ways to make money. I think as uh, time goes on, um, we need to certainly look at what uh, fundraising is possible. I think we need to look with for those organizations uh, that rely on revenue through the gate. Uh, if the county goes back on that watch list and those museums are forced to close, the state website says it will be at least three weeks before they're allowed to reopen again. Live in Balboa Park, Jared Aarons, ABC 10 News.